welcome to institute of quality and reliability hi this is heman response surface designs part 1 addition of center point to check linearity response surface designs part 1 creating a factorial design with center point to check linearity of response and need for a response surface design we recommend that viewers should watch our following video on design of experiments before watching this video link is provided in the description of this video assumption of linearity in two level designs in general significant proportion of experiments are performed with two level factorials two level full factorial designs with k factors are denoted as 2 to the power k designs these models assume linear response for example a linear regression model of 2 to the power 2 design is given by y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 1 2 x1 x2 where x1 and x2 are the settings of the factors a and b so what is the assumption of linearity in two level designs the two level factorial designs assume linearity of response in reality the response may or may not be linear if the non linearity is large the error in predicting interim values predicted by the model can be large as shown here with a red arrow so what is the effect of curvature or non linearity the more the curvature or non linearity the more will be the error in prediction of interim values so what should we do how to minimize the effect of this non linearity in our experimentation one possible recommendation is to select levels of the factors as close as possible as shown in the two figures you can see that this will help in reducing the error however this will reduce the magnitude of the effect also and will make it harder to measure and detect the effect therefore experimenters often add a center point in the design the purpose of adding a center point is to validate the assumption of linearity if the response at the center point is significantly different than the predicted value on the straight line then a non linear model will be required to reduce the error in predicted value this can be done with a response surface design the first figure shows a 2 to the power 2 design with a center point that is two factors a and b and the blue dot shows the center point in the design usually more than one center points are added the second figure shows a 2 to the power 3 design with a cube and the center point is shown with a blue dot let us now see how to create a two factor two level full factorial design with center point we will illustrate this with a virtual catapult and minitab software sigma zone has made a very nice virtual catapult this has got five different possible settings the release angle firing angle cup elevation pin elevation and bungee position the release angle is this one and you can change the release angle like this and i think it can go up to 185 and the minimum could be uh, that depends on the firing angle but i think it can be 90 the firing angle can be set here which is kind of a stopper for this arm so you can change this angle again the third factor is cup elevation and you can move the cup as you take the cup below the throw will reduce that's what we can expect the fourth factor is pin elevation which could change like this so this is the pin elevation which can be 100 to 200 and the fifth factor is bungee position and this bungee position is actually here which you can change 
but the maximum I think can be up to 200 and the minimum can be 100. So 100 to 200 is the variation that is allowed in the buggy position. These five settings can act as five factors if we want to try a designed experiment or statistically designed experiment. Let us now see what we can plan based on these five settings. This is a two factor two level experiment and we will select the following two factors and levels for this experiment. First factor is firing angle for which the low level is 110 and the high level is 130. The second factor is release angle which we will select low level as 150 and the high level as 166. A single replicate of this 2 to the power 2 design will have 4 trials or 4 runs. This will provide 3 degrees of freedom. As we want to estimate main effects of the two factors which will require 1 degree of freedom each and also the interaction which will also require 1 degree of freedom, we will not have any degrees of freedom for the error term. Therefore, we will replicate the design twice to get 4 degrees of freedom for the error term. See tables below for clarification. In addition to the corner points, we will also add few trials at the center point to validate whether response is linear. If not, we will need to perform a response surface design. For more information about degrees of freedom and replication in design of experiment, watch our video on this subject. Link is provided in the description of this video. Let us now design the experiment in Minitab software. I am using Minitab 17 version but commands will be similar in the later versions as well. We use stat doe factorial create factorial design command in Minitab and in the dialog box we select two level factorial and two factors and in display available designs you can see what designs are available. In the designs dialog box we select three center points per block and number of replicates for corner points we select two for the two replicates. Number of blocks is only one. In the factors we enter the factors properties like A factor is firing angle and B factor is release angle and the levels. So we enter the factor properties and the levels as shown here. Firing angle, low level is 110, high level is 130. Release angle, low level is low level is 150 and high level is 166. In options, we keep the default option of randomizing the runs, which is required in all experimentation. Now we can click OK to create the design in Minitab. A design with two replicates and three center points is created by Minitab. Now we add a column for response which is the distance so that we can record our observations when we run the experiment. We now set the sigma zone catapult to the settings of the first run specified in Minitab. Firing angle is 110 and the release angle is 166. And the throw distance for the first run can be measured as 487.5. We enter this in Minitab. Similarly, we conduct all 11 trials, 8 corner points and 3 center points and enter the observed distance in Minitab. We get the following table. Now we analyze the design in Minitab. We can visualize the design using a cube plot. For that stat, DOE, factorial and cube plot. and select the response distance which is the only response and if you click OK we will see the cube plot which shows what is the average response at the four corner points and also the center point. Now we can use the stat doe factorial analyze factorial design command. In the first dialog box we select distance as the response and in the terms, we leave default values and include center point in the model is already selected. We click OK there. In the options, 
we don't need to select anything we leave the default values in the graphs we select four in one and in the storage we can select the fits and residuals and we click ok and ok finally to get the output of the design the residuals can be seen as normally distributed and evenly distributed in the versus fit and in the ANOVA table we can see that the curvature is significant with a p-value of 0.00, .00 and you can see that the r square values are good and in the Pareto chart of effects we can see that all b a and a b are significant we can now see the main effect and interaction plots by stat doe factorial and factorial plots command and terms are already selected instead of model terms you can select all here it doesn't matter because all terms are in the model and select display full matrix you can view the model at any time and now in the options if you want to give any heading and click ok we can now see the main effect and interaction plots in the main effect plots observe that there is a large difference between the center point and the effect plots indicating the presence of curvature this is shown by the arrows we can also observe the interaction plots and the position of the center point in the interaction plot as the curvature is statistically significant with p value less than the alpha risk of 0 0.05 we should now conduct a response surface experiment to fit a second order model we will explain and illustrate the response surface design in part 2 of this video thanks for watching this video Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Statistical Quality Control. Click the subscribe and bell icon for getting intimations on the future videos.